Hi everyone, I'm going to talk today about um, formatting in text boxes in PowerPoint and how you work with text. So one problem that some people have is that it seems like when you're in a text box, your text is always resizing itself based on how much text uh, you put in there. So you can see right here, I have this text box here, it's size 30 point, or actually it's size 40 point font. I'm gonna actually start typing in here and see what happens. So you can see right here that the text went from size 40 now to size 22, and it's automatically resizing the text based on the outside perimeter, the dimensions of the text box, and based on how much text I'm actually entering into it. But what I want to do is I want to make sure to keep that size of the text consistent. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to delete this text is back to 40 and I'm going to resize I'm going to set the settings on this text box so that we uh, remove that setting of resizing the text as we type so I'm going to go ahead and open the format shape uh, menu and it's already open here because I have the text box selected if it wasn't open this format shape uh, dialog box wasn't open just right click the text box and go to format shape right down here and that will open now you can see under shape options you have three icons here this final icon is called size and properties I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then you have three uh, menus here, size, position, and text box. I'm gonna make sure that text box menu is open. And then right here you have these three little check boxes or these check bubbles. One says do not auto fit. The one that's checked says shrink text box on overflow. And then the final one says resize shape to fit text. So as you can see, uh, the default is to shrink text on overflow, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna set it so that it stays the exact same size no matter how much text Text we type so I'm going to go ahead and select do not auto fit and I'm going to get out of there and so now that we've set that I'm going to go ahead and type the same thing and see what happens So there you go. You can see that the text remained the exact same size. It's still size 40. Uh, and the text just continued on. That's totally okay. It continued beyond the size dimensions of the actual text box. Now, if you were kind of a stickler and you wanted to resize the text box, you could definitely do that. Or back in that uh, size and properties menu, you could actually select resize shape to fit text. And no matter then how much text if you typed, it would actually increase the size of the box based on that, but it would keep the size of the text the same. So you can see that the exact uh, dimensions or the size of the text box just uh, increased based on how much text we did. Now, this is a really good way to format one text box on a single slide in your normal view layout. But what if I wanted to change the setting uh, for every single text box that you ever entered into this PowerPoint deck? And we can do that by going to the master slide view. So right now we're in normal view. I'm going to go to the master slide view. So what, what we want to do is go up to the view tab tab here on the ribbon, click on that, and then select master slide under master views. This kind of shows you the behind the scenes architecture of how the slide deck looks of, and it gives you all of the different uh, slide layouts that you can choose from uh, when you're, when you're uh, putting in a new slide in that normal view. But what I'm going to do is go all the way up to this number one. This is called the parent slide, and this is a slide that all future formatting for text and objects comes from within the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change both of these text boxes. We have a title text box and we have this text box here. I want all the text in the deck to make sure that we're not auto sizing uh, to, or we're not shrinking the text based on the amount of text within the box. So right here, 
I'm going to select the title text box. The format shape dialog box is open. I'm going to go to size and properties and you can see shrink text on overflow is selected as the default. I'm going to go ahead and select do not auto fit. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this text box here. I selected that format shape dialog box is open setting and settings and properties and you can see shrink text on overflow is now so is selected there too i'm going to go ahead and select do not auto fit now this should change all of these text boxes in each of these individual slide layouts so let's see if it actually worked i'm going to go to this new slide layout i'm going to click on this text box shape and properties or size and properties and there you go do not auto fit is selected I'm going to go to this text box here and do not auto fit is selected. It looks like uh, the rest of the slide layouts are listening to that parent slide formatting. So now let's go back to the normal view, click on view, and then go back to normal. And here's the slide that I, that I entered before. And I'm going to go ahead and enter a new slide. Go up to new slide. And let's do this title and content slide here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and click slide title. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to resize the box so that it's really small. And then let's see what happens here. So there you go. So you can see that my... Um, text stayed the same size. It went beyond the border of the actual text box, but that's totally okay. It doesn't matter. When you view this in slideshow mode, you're not going to see that text box anyway. You can see it's just the same size there. Uh, and so that's kind of a way that you can do this for every single slide in the slide deck uh, without doing it individually. Now, the other way that you can do it is just simply delete those layout uh, text boxes and insert your own text box. If I go to the insert tab and I go to text box and I insert my own text box, here is a text box. Uh, and I go to format shape. The format shape is already open, but I'll just do that so you can see it. And then back to size and properties, you can see that the default now is set to resize shape to fit text. So if you just insert text boxes manually, that's going to be your default uh, setting here, resize shape to fit text. Your text will say the same size and your actual dimensions of the text box will increase or decrease based on the amount of text that you have in it. So there are a couple different ways to resize text and work with text boxes in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know how you use it in the comments and thanks for watching.